What's up guys? So this is gonna be kind of a weird video uh, for starters. You're seeing my face uh, It's been years since I've probably done uh, any face cam. It was most likely on a live stream Which is why I'm making this video because there's going to be a big drunk stream this weekend We're gonna be doing it on the 4th. It's gonna be at 7 p.m. Eastern I'll have all this information and in, like I'll have it in a comment below so if you want to recap it, but uh, we should be doing, uh, we should, I mean, starters, we're going to get drunk, should should be a fun time, we, we're going to do some pest control when it's hot, we're going to do some raids, whatever people want, um, as far as, you know, uh, what all we do or how it goes, you know, that's just kind of up to how we're all feeling at the time, but what the main thing we'll be doing, at least at the start, is an event, so there will be our first event on Revival 2, it's going to be coming out June 1st, actually not June 1st, I'm a liar, uh, the 3rd, the Friday before the update, uh, well, because we update on Fridays, so... It'll be coming out on the 3rd, and uh, that's the, mer the, the, the first thing we'll do is the event, and then we'll just sort of move on to what everybody is feeling. Um, and then we're also going to have double experience this weekend. So this is going to be our pretty, you know, it's going to be a big weekend for us. It's our first big one. Kind of to celebrate sort of like four years, really five years at this point since Revival has existed in some form or other, right? Including Revival 1 and all that time. Okay, so I just recorded the rest of that video, and unfortunately the webcam and the audio both cut out, so there's nothing but just blank silence and you staring at my RuneScape screen that has no importance. Uh, unfortunately, I'll have to talk about all the video again, and then I already put the, the, the webcam away, so I don't have face cam set up anymore, but we will have it this weekend. The main purpose of this video was two reasons. One, to talk about the stuff I just talked about, the event that we're going to have this weekend, all of the fun stuff, and then I wanted to talk about my update, uh, my real life update video. Uh, it would be a lot better if you could see me right now, but again, uh, whatever. You saw me a couple seconds ago. Anyways, uh, the reason I wanted to make this video was to just sort of talk about where I am right now, because it does kind of pertain to Revival. You know, as if you've played the server in, the, in much in the past you'll know that any times where i'm um, you know where, where things are going on in my real life it's going to affect the game right if i'm busy doing something in real life i'm not busy coding something on revival so it, it does affect you guys and and you know, worse if it's something like you know depression because that's a harder funk to get out of than just being busy you know busy is usually a temporary problem well you know they're both temporary problems but you know busy is shorter anyways the reason i wanted to, to, to bring that up is because i've actually been doing really good right now i've i've been you know the best place i've been in a long time uh, ever since march 15th that's really when it changed right before the server came out um I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video. I might talk about it in the future, but uh, basically I played a video game, Cyberpunk 2077, and it changed my life. Uh, if you've played the game, you might understand it a little bit, maybe, but um, you know, don't expect the same results for everybody. Uh, just kind of me and what I was going through and how it all played out for me is sort of, you know, made me look at my life, reconsider things, and I basically just came to the conclusion that I wanted more. You know, I wanted better for myself. I wanted to try. I wanted to try to be somebody that I would care about. And ever since then, ever since March 15th, I've been to the gym every single day and I've been, you know, eating a lot less and have so far I've lost 56 pounds, uh, which I, I know if you, I was going to talk about it in the video. You can't really, you can't really tell that much if you've seen me recently. I, I don't know. But uh, 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 like it's small, subtle areas like, uh, like I can wear rings now and, and stuff like that. But I am the lowest I've weighed in like 16 years. Uh, I've. Uh, this is the most weight I've ever lost. It's kind of like Revival, like the Parallels Revival, right? I've had a server last a month, and then the next server would last two months, and then, then we had Revival 1 where it lasted, you know, a couple of years. But uh, that's kind of how it was with all my weight loss journeys throughout my entire life. I always, I just never, I, I think the, the, the big difference is I never really truly wanted it, right? It's just like everybody obviously wants to lose weight and wants to be thin and wants to be happy and all that shit. Everybody wants that if you're not or if you are, right? Um, but... I never really wanted it enough, clearly, right? I was never motivated enough to lose weight. I mean, even the last time I really tried to lose weight was when my dad passed away. And the main reason why, it wasn't even because I was, like, sad or anything like that. I, I don't care about that, my dad. Don't tell my mom, because she'll be butthurt, but I, I don't care, all right? I'm not upset about that. I'm not, you know... I, I, that wasn't really why I was trying to lose weight or anything. I was trying to lose weight mostly just to keep busy, right? It was just... It made sense. I had a lot of things I had to do to, like... I had to move the house. We had to move and everything. So it just made sense, right? Uh, but I didn't have the true motive. I wasn't really trying to lose weight and obviously I struggled you know the first the first day it became rough I I quit immediately like I always did every point in my life before then right but this time I don't know it was just it was different right I I knew it was different 
and a big part of why I knew it was different was because I immediately got a gym membership. It was the first and only time I'd ever been into a gym is this gym right now. Even in high school, I dropped out of high school. I skipped class. I, I, didn't, go to, I didn't go to school. So I didn't even go to the gym then, right? Um, and I, and the, a big reason why I never even wasted t money in the past getting a membership is because I knew I would just quit, right? I knew, oh, you're not going to actually lose weight. You're just going to quit, go back to being sad and eating food and all that. And I was always right, right? I, I knew that that would happen and I was smart enough to never waste my money. But this time I knew it was different. I knew immediately that that I wanted to get a membership and I wanted to go every single day. And like I said, I've been every single day since March 15th and I've lost 56 pounds so far. I'm, I'm super excited for the future. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is, is to, uh, you know, it's because it does pertain to revival, right? If I'm in a good place, then revival is going to be in a good place too. I know that right now there's low player count and a lot of people who have played the game uh, are either bored from playing it or have run out of things that are interesting. And I, I get you guys, right? We have we have weekly updates. we got this event coming out. We're, we're, we're going to be okay, right? Uh, that's why I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I'm doing all right and I'm, I'm playing the game. I'm, I'm here. I'm motivated. I'm committed. If you remember Revival 1, we went through similar problems when we first released, right? We released. Everyone was like, great, it's out. We can finally stop worrying about it and we're going to go back to playing other games that we actually like, right? And we, it took a couple months to get there. I, I, I you know, we, we've done it before. We can do it again. And the most important part is, like, do you want to do it again? Are you actually committed? Do you care? Right? And we do. And I, I, I'm not, I haven't been so communicated, com communicative. I'm pretty sure communicative is a word. I'm pretty sure that's a word. I haven't been so communicative in the past. Um, especially, you know, at times where I'm, like, sad and depressed. You know, obviously, I don't want to talk to people or, or you know, that doesn't make it better for me, at least. So, um, I'm going to do my best to talk to you guys as much as I can constantly um, just to let you guys know that, you know, where, where Revival's at in terms of the developers, right? And even Dark has been very active and very helpful. He just we just released Collection Log. Collection Log is 100% on him. Invention uh, was like, you know, that's, I'd say that's about 50-50. He, he did probably the harder parts. I did the easy stuff you, that you know, anybody could do, but but I'd say we about I did about 50-50 on amount of work. Maybe maybe he did more. I don't know. But but um, you know we're we're committed. We're ready to go. Uh, we're, we're very excited for the future. I understand that advertisements are a big part of it. Trust me, trust me. I know that guys. But we just we you got to remember we have to have something to advertise, right? We have to like there has to be something interesting, something unique that's going to attract people to the server. And that's kind of really where uh, the survey is going to come into play. So there is going to be a survey attached to this video. Please fill it out if you're interested in Revival's future and you just kind of want to you want to give us your opinion on the content and, and where we're going. Because I just kind of wanted to see if we, we should step back on the old school content. The current plan, the plan I proposed in my roadmap video was to sort of add the old school stuff that we're missing. Like the Zolcano, the Gauntlet, uh, I guess eventually Theater of Blood. That'd probably be much later, but you know stuff that we're missing from old school right uh, the the basilisk knights and stuff like that um that was the plan was to add all of that stuff get everything we're missing and then start working on our own content but as we're a month in i'm starting to rethink that maybe we should start focusing on our own content creating unique content that way we can you know keep players a little more interested in our content obviously if we release like the basilisk knights for example a new player that a player that's bored and who's basically quit but is a maxed they might come back they might kill a couple, they either get one or don't, and then they'll probably quit, right? But if there's some unique content that we release, like some sort of, I don't know, some custom boss that has some unique niche item, maybe there's a lot of more replayability right there. Or maybe if there's some other content that's, you know, interesting, there's a lot more potential to get players excited about that as opposed to OSRS content. So that's basically the question. Uh, well, there's multiple questions, but that's one of the big ones is, would you like to see us work on the old school content we're missing like Zulcano, Crystal Gauntlet, or would you just like to start seeing unique stuff that's completely brand new to Revival and any other private server? Just, just you know, just unique stuff, you know. But uh, that's the main things I wanted to get uh, to talk about in this video. Just wanted to let you guys know about all the fun stuff we're going to have this weekend, let you guys know that I'm doing better in real life. And I'll have a lot more up uh, videos in real life and face cam streams just because I, I think it'd be nice to show the progress along the way, right? And I guess it'll also prove I'm committed, right? If I mean, if it's a year from now and I lost 100 pounds or however you know much weight, then you'll know that I was committed to it and hopefully revival, right? By, by proxy. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.